This experiment is about resonance. The resonance in two aluminium rods, one 0.65 of a metre long and one 0.72 of a metre long. Now I've got my fingers and thumb covered in rosin. Now rosin, as many of you will know if you play a stringed instrument, is what you need to get friction between the bow and the strings. So I've now got my fingers well and truly covered, so let's try. I'll hold the rod in the middle with my left hand and now run my right finger and thumb along it and you see it singing beautifully. Try and keep that note in your head because I'm now going to do it as quickly as I can with the slightly longer one. And you notice the pitch is slightly lower, not a great deal. The longer rods vibrate at a lower frequency, they're longer and therefore the pitch at which they resonate is going to be lower. Now, you can't just assume it's a simple dipole with an antinode either end and a node in the middle, because if you listen to the notes, I can't sing that high, so it's way above middle C. But maybe you could listen to the note and try and calculate what pitch you think that is. If you have a frequency analyzer, then use that and then try and draw the wave motions of the oscillating rods. There's certainly a node in the middle, but what's happening here? Do we get this? And there's certainly an antinode at the two ends, isn't there? Go back to the smaller one. Remember, node at the middle and antinode at the end, but we're not quite sure what's happening in between. 